Good morning everyone and welcome to a new video on the channel. It is Saturday the 13th of July 2024 and today we are heading to Chester Street Town versus Wickham in a friendly now where this is the first time in five seasons of me doing these videos that we have been to uh, Chester Street Town which uh, to be quite frank is it's an absolute crime that we haven't done this ground sooner because I really do like it. It is full of character. I did uh, go there, obviously, in the days before I had my channel. But uh, at long last, we're putting that right today. So uh, let's get into this and head on up to Chesler Street. So here I'm in Chester Street, uh, got a little bit of a walk uh, down to the ground now from the town itself. If you ever do find yourself coming here for a game, uh, just be aware that the ground is actually in a little village uh, just outside of Chester Street called Chester Mewer. Um, so yeah, it is about maybe about half an hour, 40 minute walk from the town itself or alternatively there is buses etc. Um, but anyway, uh, going into this afternoon's game, uh, Chester Street Town finished in 7th place in Northern League Division 2 last season and there were only uh, two points off of a playoff spot and uh, I think this season uh, their initial aim will pro probably be to uh, uh, break into that top five although I do personally think that Northern League Division 2 is a very open league this year. Um, I think uh, it's probably one of the toughest leagues to predict I'd say but uh, I do think uh, Chester will be maybe there or thereabouts once again and uh, in opposition for them this afternoon is Wickham uh, it'll be a good test for them uh, Wickham finished in 11th place in Northern League Division 1 last season and uh, ultimately it was just a consistency issue for them above all else uh, they won 16 and lost 16 um, and obviously uh, drew all the rest of the games and uh, one thing for Wickham this year is um, they've got a lot of goals to replace uh, Scott Robson was uh, banging them in left, right and centre for them last season but he's moved on to uh, Dunstan and uh, that is just uh, kind of what happens at this level ultimately uh, if you've got a player like that that's scoring so many goals it is inevitable that someone else is going to uh, come in for them and that's what's happened here but uh, again um, I think they'll be maybe looking to kick on a bit more this season I do still have some very good players uh, by the looks of it that have made a pretty sound start to pre-season so they'll be looking to uh, continue that again today but uh, yeah I think once again this is a game where both sides will regard it as a good test so looking forward to it let's on and down to Moor Park I think it's called uh, correct me if I'm wrong um, but let's just find out how it all unfolds So I've uh, totally missed the warm up so I was just in the uh, clubhouse yapping there so I have no idea um, what colour kits uh, the two teams are going to be in this afternoon. Uh, Chesler Street would traditionally play in uh, blue and white hoops, um, Wickham usually in black and white but we'll find out when the players are on the pitch ready to start the match. So here come the teams, uh, Wickham in black and white, uh, Chesler Street in blue. Ah, and away. Thank <laughs> you. 
Half time, Chesler Street Town nil, Wickham three. Um, yeah, I think you've just got to say Wickham have been very clinical so far. They've uh, applied the high press that they seem to be playing very well. I mean, uh, I think obviously when the league does start, um, there'll be there'll be times where they'll have to be a bit more careful with that. But uh, as of today, you know they've uh, done it very well. Uh, whenever they've been through on goal, they've looked like scoring. Uh, they've had a few. Um, that haven't been a million miles off. As for Chester, when they have got forward, it has looked relatively promising for them, but I think it's just been a case of maybe a little, little bit of composure here and there, but uh, as I say, it is pre-season, it's still early pre-season, so uh, it's at this point just about trying new things. Uh, this is probably the time to make mistakes. I mean, not that I've made mistakes, I just think uh, Wickham have just been a bit too good up to now, but... Uh, all in all, uh, yeah, the, as I said, uh, it's it is early stage of pre-season. You can't look into it all that much. Uh, Chester will obviously improve as time goes on, and so, so will Wickham. But uh, anyway, on to the second half. Oh. He's got that from Chester. Well, that's the end of the game. Didn't it? Oh. Well, we missed you, Mr. Alfred. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Full-time Chester Street Town one Wickham three. Uh, that Chester goal does keep up, does maintain my uh, personal record of seeing and uh, both teams score in every pre-season game I have been to so far, and as well a goal in uh, every half of football I've seen as well. So uh, yeah, all in all, uh, pretty successful uh, despite the uh, pretty grotty, horrible weather. Um, and I've got to say, enjoyed my trip to the ground state. It's a really nice setup, really nice people, and what have you. So, uh, yeah, I wish nothing but good things for the uh, Chester Street Town for this coming season. Uh, but uh, I think all in all, in the day, um, yeah, a, a good workout for 
both sides. Uh, Wickham were very uh, you know, relentless in the first half, really. Uh, first to every ball, uh, created some very good chances, were very clinical. Second half, and maybe uh, took the foot off the gas a little bit, but that's maybe to be expected. Uh, and uh, that happens quite a lot when games are, you know, almost done and dusted at half time. But uh, you know, the Chester had a, a couple of good chances and they managed to uh, get themselves on the score sheet towards the end of the game. So uh, it's it's fitness, isn't it? Um, I think uh, both sides will be happy with the run out that they have had today. Um, but that is that for this video, and uh, I'll be back in the morning with uh, the match experience from the game I'm about to go to, which is uh, Gateshead versus Sunderland. So. Uh, uh, until then, take care. Cheers for watching. See you later.